What's going on everybody? The Original Mako back with some more new content. This is probably the last video I'm going to post today. I don't want to absolutely spam the TL, uh, but this is probably the most fun one. Uh, I've just unlocked the new weapon. I haven't even looked at the inscriptions I'm going to get on it. It's like really, really early in the game. So chances are they're not going to be great, but we at least get to see it in action. I can get my first impressions. Uh, also, a uh, quick note here. Uh, the Sting. For getting the Elite Spearman shield down, absolutely rips it, buddy. Smokes the shield. Oh, also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like, comment. There's going to be plenty of new content coming out. We're trying to hit 100 subs by the end of the year. We can absolutely demolish that goal. So hit that subscribe button. Also, check the links down below. There's going to be a link to Twitch and Discord. Twitch, I'm going to be doing runs live. I, I'm live every day there playing a bunch of different games, but I'm going to be doing a lot of Gunfire Reborn. And then also, uh, Discord, a lot of cool people to hang out, chill, and talk to. So let's take a peek at this thing, shall we? Let's take a look at this first, right? Just build up the tension. Build it up, build it up, build it up. Take a look. Nice, nice, nice. All right, what do we got? Oh, a lot on there. 91 times 14. So it has a 14 shell spread. Uh, crit plus 40. Extra damage against enemies in shock. 80% weapon damage for the first shot after reloading. Weapon auto reloaded when unequipped is probably pretty good on this thing. So let's just take a look at it. Okay. So it uses heavy ammo. Let's upgrade an inscription. Why not? Reload speed plus 50. Oh, hell, that's pretty good. Also, this is the new lightning trap. Uh, they just kind of sit on the floor like that. So let's go ahead and start messing around with this thing, shall we? Oh! Okay, <laughs> he just got blasted to hell. We're gonna take that. Uh, I don't need to worry about weapons because I'm not using anything except this. Okay, the rate of fire is definitely a little slow. I mean, it feels like you're, you know, Standard pump shoddy. You're definitely going to want to be up in the face with it. It does do a good chunk of damage. I'm excited to try it against the boss. So, uh, you can, as soon as it reloads once, you can shoot, if you, even if you have no ammo in it. So, getting the inscription, uh, the one that got upgraded, that's not there anymore, but... Uh, first shot after reload does extra damage, I think is what it was, is actually kind of crazy. Because you can just do a ton of damage if you use your your timing. Like, use your uh, reloads correctly. Oh, wait, I'm going to kill another, another elite spearman. Now I wish I wouldn't have dropped that sting, damn it. So I could at least get through his shield. Oh, hello. Okay, so it feels pretty nice so far. Uh, obviously, at, oh my god, wait, it's actually ripping through his shield pretty hard. Oh, wait, he just like one-tapped me on that slam. Hold up, that was gross. Okay, so it hits like a bus up close. Like, an absolute truck. I've, this, my fifth time, fourth time killing an elite spearman, and I've never killed one that quick and never gotten through it that quick. <laughs> so it definitely hits. That's interesting. That's also interesting. Let's do that. Um, once again, obviously, initial thought, uh, you want veteran with this thing, because almost every kill you get is going to be that close. Uh, rolling one with elemental effects would be really, really nice. <clears throat> I can see that being kind of a huge thing. Um, getting this with, I'm trying to just trying to think of Occult Scrolls, Advanced Depot, probably a lot of the inscriptions, honestly, probably benefit from this thing, how this thing reloads. The fact that you can just pop one bullet into the chamber and then you can just keep going. So, I don't know if... Holy shite.
Uh, one of my other initial thoughts is honestly, I hate to say this, I think this weapon. Oh my god! Okay, so obviously I'm playing a little recklessly just to try to maximize DPS here. Uh, I actually think this weapon specifically is going to be... V Wait, I still had my sting. That's awkward. Is going to be very, very good with the cat and hex smoke. Because uh, if you're just doing more damage to, to enemies, like consistently, <laughs> that's going to be very solid. Oh, what other... It, it feels nice. The recoil's definitely not too crazy at all. Oops. Oh. You definitely still want to be up in the face, though, obviously. The spread on it, the fact that it has such a large spread is kind of nice, honestly. Also, I will say... I'm assuming you can dual wield with it because it doesn't say you can't. So obviously going to be very good on the bear. And I will say it's very good on this character too because as you can see with like the rogue arsonist and stuff. Uh, when they're charging at you, you can leap, stun them, and then just keep pumping out damage from this thing. So I like it. I actually really do like it. Um... Damn, I mean, the, the the spread is almost hitting for 1k. Obviously, I would really want to try the exclusive inscription on it just to see how big of a difference it makes. Uh, I also want to roll some elemental effects on it, see how that does. And then try some, like, infinite ammo type synergies just to try everything with it and see what the best option is. Not a bad run, honestly. Uh, so yeah, that's those are my initial thoughts on it. I'm going to go ahead and keep recording this run and record the rest if you want to keep watching. Absolutely. I plan on using nothing but this thing for as long as I can. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be giving it too many more thoughts until post, you know, finding other variations of it. So... I am still, if you didn't see my main video about the update, where I go over all of the patch notes and whatnot, the new scrolls are extremely underwhelming. I've already unlocked one, and I mean, I had a chance to use it, it's just a, I mean, it's one of those like, yeah, I guess I'll pick it up, because like, it doesn't hurt, but whenever there's a major update, you want to see at least one, especially when they say there's going to be scrolls. It'd be really nice to see a scroll that's like, you know, something you can build around. Very, very synergistic, you know. Uh, but there was, there's nothing like that. All of the team scrolls do sound interesting to try. Hopefully Bill will play a few games with me and, and we can try those. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I just had a moment of clarity. This thing could roll with a chance to do, to spawn some sort of orb on crit. Like 80% chance on crit to spawn a corrosive orb, or 80% chance on crit to spawn light, electric or, or fire. Shooting 14 bullets up close. That might be the single best, along with the Sunder, gun to roll that on. That's wild. So here it is, the Hell Shotgun. Uh, we have one more thing to unlock. Oops, if I go to my logbook. I just need to get the last scroll here. So I need to kill 40 more bandit tacticianers. And believe me, I'm glad to do it. Bandit tacticians are a pain in the ass. Okay. So, first thoughts. It's really, really fun to use. It feels nice. I like the damage output. Uh, absolutely bodies kids up close. If you've got good defensive synergy or you've got veteran, you're going to want to be in there. 
Uh, I'm going to try it with Hex Smoke and Cat here soon. And yeah, hopefully we can get some really fun synergies with that. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. This concludes my trio of videos about the update today. Uh, go check out the other two if this is the first one you're watching. I went through all the patch notes in the first one. And I went through one of the new levels, the um, cube that'll explode if it takes too much damage. Which is a really, really cool thing. It's like a tower defense. I feel like I'm playing a tower defense. And... I enjoy tower defenses, so it was kind of cool. So check out both those videos, and we'll have plenty more new content coming, so check the links in the description as well to stay caught up on all of that. And slam that subscribe button. Slam it! Let's fucking go, right? All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of your faces, and I will catch you guys in the next one.